What up guys, Tyler here with TarverAcademy.com and I wanna hit you with how to organize and work with Microsoft Word files in Google Drive. Hit subscribe, we're about to get started. Let's go. Okay, welcome back. Um, so we wanna talk about how Microsoft Word files can be worked with in Google Drive um, and some best practices. So here I've got a file, I downloaded it earlier. I'm gonna take this file and I'm gonna drag it up here and drop it. That's one way. Easiest way to get it in there is drag and drop. Or you can go to, let's watch it, hold on, let's wait. Let it, boop, it's in there. Um, you can tell that it's not a dock because it's not like the, the blue box with like the like this you know green box is right here. So usually if it's a dock, it's a blue box. Here they put a W for Word. It's a Microsoft Word document, it's in that form. Um, if you click new, you can hit uh, file upload and you can actually select that file as well. Okay, so that's a good way to put that in there. Um, now, whenever you've got the Word file, um, it's a little different. Like if I click on this right here, this um, Google Sheet, I can go in there, boom. I can edit, work on whatever I want in there. Or with this, I can go in and click on it and I can't edit it, I can't work with that. Um, but look at what it's telling us right there in the blue. They just added this, this is a pretty new feature. Um, you can actually add a comment to a Word document or you know Excel sheet um, in Google Drive, which is really cool because that's not their native program. They don't want you to use Word documents, they're Google. I would assume they want you to use Docs and Sheets and all that, but they also want to make themselves compatible with everybody else. So watch this, add a comment. Um, so what I would do is I could double click on Academy, um, and then I could hit, see over here on the right, just like it would be if it's in a doc, I could click that and I can type whatever I want. Um, I can even add other viewers. So like, let's say I wanna add myself and tag, you know, you just hit at sign or the plus sign and then start typing in the email. I can assign that to Tyler, hit assign. He will see this comment. That's a really cool feature that they've added. Not, that's incredible to me. So you're in there, that's the Word document. Now, this is on like my account that I'm like, I don't use this account very often, um, but it's just an account that I've been working with. So um, whenever I'm in here, I can, uh, I don't have the default to turn Word documents into Google Docs, but I wanna show you how to do that. So on the right side where the settings are, you click the setting, go to settings. Okay, when you're in here, you can click this little box. Second one now says convert uploads. Oop. Convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. You click done. Then, now watch what happens when I drag this Microsoft Word document in there. It's automatically gonna read it, convert it, and turn it into a doc. Now do y'all see the difference? See the difference? That's what a doc looks like. W is what the Word looks like. You open it up, it looks exactly like the Word. Word and Word is almost perfect in how it converts over to docs. Um, Sheets and Excel, it's pretty perfect as well. Your PowerPoint, some of the fonts will be off because they don't share fonts, so you just have to change them sizing, but it gets all your stuff. So I have my convert, super easy, especially if you're taking like all like 20 years worth of all the stuff you've done. You just wanna take the folder, drag it in, give it like 10 minutes to upload. Everything will convert. If you click that box beforehand, everything will convert. You can automatically edit, change things. It's pretty cool. Um, that's what I would recommend doing because I love, I love me some Google, um, Google Docs. Um, I, whenever I was in um, getting my specialist, humble brag, Whenever I was getting my, I'm just kidding, I'm not talking about humble, humble, I'm not doing any type of bragging. Whenever I was doing it, the professors were super big on like APA format, but they're all really old school, so they'd send everything in a Word document, and um, I would have to submit things in APA format, like they're very, very strict on APA, and I would submit it to them in a Word document, but I don't, I don't even have Microsoft Office on my computer. And so it's like, okay, so I would take their Word document, convert it, read it and drive, work on it, write my paper. Um, I had an APA format saved, and then it's like, oh, well, Tyler, how did you how did you get that and send it to him as a word? Well, like I said, Google wants to work with Microsoft, um, even though they're putting them out of business. Um, up here in the upper left, you see where it says file? We click file, go to download as Microsoft Word, and boom, you can download that file as a Word document and email it. it the, the margins, the formatting, it's all perfect. Um, I've not run into this. You may, if you have, let me know in the comments, but I've never run into a situation where formatting's been off. Um, now, if you put a bunch of photos in it, maybe it might get messy, but um, if it's text, I, I never once had anything convert incorrectly when I was doing APA format. So that's it. That's how you work with Microsoft Word in Google Docs. Hope this helped. 
and, or in Google Drive. Hope this helped. Please subscribe. That'd be awesome. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Never stop learning. Peace.